Good afternoon guys, hello, I'm Ale and in this video guide I want to show you how to solve the problem of cylinder flow at a certain Rayleigh number. Also we will compare the obtained simulation results with the experiment. So here we go. Uh, we will solve this problem in ANSYS Fluent in two-dimensional formulation. And on this slide we can see the calculation scheme. There are five boundaries. Inlet, outlet, well one, well two, and cylinder well. And we can also see the dimensions uh, L1, L2, L3, and diameter. According to the terms of the problem, it is now that Reynolds is 600,000. Uh, so we need to determine the inlet boundary condition. There is a well-known formula for calculating the Reynolds number, where V is flow velocity meters per second, D is cylinder diameter in meters, and uh, mu is kinematic viscosity Pascal second. From this formula, the flow velocity is expressed and we find that the velocity is equal to 2 meters per second. Now let's go to ANSYS workbench. I have already solved this problem, so I will just go through each step in detail and describe the order of operations. I have created copies of the blocks and will go through each one. The first step is to build the geometry in design modeler. First, we set the 2D analysis type, analysis type and 2D. Now let's open design modeler. Like I said, everything is already built here, so I'll just describe the course of actions. Select, for example, X, Y plane and uh, create a sketch by this button new sketch and then just draw the geometry according to the original data in particular circle and rectangle we can create circle by uh, this option and rectangle by this for example and set the size for these shapes next we create a surface based on the sketch go to the concept section and select surfaces from sketches then choose the sketch one and generate yeah. we can put the names of the boundaries right now outlet ambient one ambient two cylinder inlet Ambient 1 is well, ambient 2 is well, and cylinder is also well. Okay, the next important step is to divide the surface into multiple faces. We can create a second sketch on the X, Y plane, sketch 2. Next, in the sketch we should draw four segments at 45 degrees to the major axis that come over the perimeter of the circle and draw this vertical line. We will have a kind of square with two diagonals, one and two. For example, you can do it this way. Put the first point in the center of circle and draw to the corner of the rectangle like this and then using the extend tool modify extend continue the line to intersect with the side of the rectangle extend extend and now we have this line and then use the trim tool to cut off the piece, of piece that is inside the circle. Just click on this segment. But now I just delete the segment because I already have. Okay, next 
go into concept and uh, now concept lines from sketches and select sketch 2 apply and generate but I just delete the last step is to project this line onto our surface we have one surface and line we should choose tools and projection and choose five of our segments one two three four five apply as the target surface choose the previously created surface and generate but i just delete and now we have a few faces one two three four and five we have created geometry now we move on to the mesh i have mesh block and just open first of all let's define the method mesh insert method method multizone quad 3 surface mesh method program controlled element order global setting and free face mesh type all quad then face meshing insert face meshing and for face meshing we should choose five faces and uh, this method quadrilaterals okay then we start to set edge sizing on all edges mesh insert mesh insert sizing and uh, we should choose different segments type mesh sizing number of divisions the first is edge sizing for diagonals the important point is BS type and BS factor. Choose this type of BS type because the densification should go to our circle. With BS factor you can experiment. In my opinion 100 is the right factor in this case. Pay attention to reverse BS setting. If some segments have densification not in the direction of the circle you should click on this setting and select this segments and also I set number of divisions to 100 then we should set edge sizing for this segments one two three number of divisions 100 behavior hard bs type no bs then we have two segments one and two on them we have to densify the grid to the middle of the segments so we choose this bs type bs factor 40 number of divisions 100 then h sizing for segment of circle 1 2 3 4 number of divisions 100 and last 
is this two segment number of divisions 100 okay now generate mesh you can experiment with the number of divisions and BS factor and make a thicker mesh if you need to or a less dense mesh if you need to now let's measure the first layer against the wall we should select not first node control second node distance 0 0.35 millimeters in this video i will not explain the nuances of determining the thickness of the first wall layer because it is too big a topic there are websites that will calculate the thickness for you i only say that 1.3 millimeters is suitable for the chi epsilon turbulence model in this case okay now let's go to fluent fluent setup start first of all we define the turbulence model models and third option model k epsilon k epsilon model realizable near wall treatment standard wall functions and these parameters are default okay then go materials and uh, add water liquid if there is no material then boundary conditions as an inlet boundary condition we set the velocity 2 meters per second velocity magnitude 2 meters initial gauge pressure 0 and default parameters apply we set pressure outlet at the outlet condition gauge pressure zero because pressure is not important in this case in this problem apply close and uh, wall ambient one ambient two cylinder stationary wall no sleep roughness models standard apply in external flows problems it is often necessary to determine drag coefficient and lift coefficient so three parameters can be added to report definitions drag coefficient lift coefficient and drag force or lift force for example report definitions new force report drag drag coefficient drag force but i have added these parameters cd s coefficient it is drag coefficient cl lift coefficient and force drag the, uh, is force drag close then in report plots monitors report plots we add plots of the three parameters to track the convergence of the problem go to the method section and set the following parameters scheme couplet flux type ratio distance based gradient least squares cell based pressure second order momentum second order upwind 
Turbulence Kinetic Energy First Order Upwind Turbulent dis Dissipation Rate First Order Upwind In the Controls section I left the default settings Next, select Hybrid Initialization and click Initialize Hybrid Initialized Go to Run Calculation calculation set for example 350 number of iterations this should be enough and then push calculate as a result of the calculation you will get several charts the first chart is of course the convergence of the residuals and several charts with our target functions this slide shows the chart of drug coefficient variation. We can see that the coefficient values stopped changing, so the calculation was abandoned before 350 iterations were passed. Further, to record the exact values of the coefficients, we can write them out of the console at the last iteration or go to the th section report definitions click on the desired coefficient for example cd and press the compute button drag coefficient compute in the console we see the coefficient value of 0 0.31 next open this book for comparison with the experiment this is Incompressible Flow by Ronald L. Panton, 4th edition. And let's open chapter 14.1, page 351. Here we see a plot of the experimental dependencies. On the y-axis, drug coefficient. And on the x-axis, Reynolds number. According to the terms of the problem, the Reynolds number is 600,000. From the simulation results, we obtained that the drug coefficient is 0 0.31. This value coincides quite well with the experimental data. Reynolds number 600,000 and drug coefficient from simulation 0 0.31 0 0.1 0 0.2 0 0.3 the last step is visualization let's go into the post processor and build for example the contour of velocity and streamlines so i have created contour one and streamline one in this case i use color map bgr modern and uh, that's it if the video was useful for you then give it a like and i will be glad to receive any comments goodbye and uh, good luck